When Motherwell paid St Mirren £175,000 for Brian Martin two and a half years ago, many felt the Paisley club should be laughing all the way to the bank. But the last laugh has been with the Fir Park team, and this season, 31-year-old Martin has been one of Scottish football's top performers. He says he's learned a lot from playing alongside Mio Krivokopic. Good play by Martin once again. Lambert, Martin again. The first pass I'm looking for really now is the short one. Well, it's similar to what Mio looks for. Uh, maybe a three or four year ago, five year ago, I was just looking for a long pass, first of all, because when you're in the relegation zone, if you, you don't want to make mistakes at the back, so you end up clearing the ball long first before you have a look. But this season, we're looking for the short passes, they're coming on. O'Neill tries to find McAvenny. The strength and pace of Martin, though, he could the task. Have you got what you expected you'd get when you signed him, or has he produced more? Uh, well, obviously, I, I think I've got slightly more, uh, because he's one that has been over the ropes there, but uh, he's played two or three different positions, and that is the one thing that attracted uh, me, because we kind of have the luxury of a one-position type of player at Motherwell. They've got to be adaptable in playing two or three positions, and Brian is one that has been a sound, solid defender. He scored a goal or two as well to help keep Motherwell in the Premier Division's top three for most of the season, and don't think they've written off the championship. There are 37 games played and we are still on the tails of Rangers. After the break, Motherwell took the lead. Phil O'Donnell ran forward and his pass collected by Rob McKinnon, who gave Nicky Walker little chance of making a save. Before the deadlock was broken at Fir Park, Kevin Twaddle got the better of Perini to open up the scoring. If Twaddle's goal stunned the champ... And there was just one minute on the clock when Motherwell came good and snatched all three points. It was Martin Conaghan lurking with intent inside the penalty area. He's been ordered to push up more by manager Billy Davis, and he did so to spectacular effect. Corrigan, his first goal for the club, is 2-1 Motherwell. The game was effectively over before half-time. McKinnon's free kick headed home by Brian Martin, a convincing 3-1 lead for the Lanarkshire men in 39 minutes. Luck for Celtic when Kevin Twaddle left Stylian Petrov in his tracks and beat Jonathan Gould two to silence the best part of a 60,000 crowd. It was Stephen McMillan's slide rule pass which set up Twaddle to score his first goal for the first down route one and Kevin Twaddle finished superbly. His second goal in two games for the Fir Park club and what a strike. John Spencer with the cross, Twaddle with a glorious volley. In the first few months of the season, the Fir Park team could do little wrong. Lambert doing well, here's Coyne. Hit against McKinney, and the shot from McKinnon! Motherwell have equalised! After, you know, being so close to Rangers, uh, the majority of the season to just sort of slip away has been disappointing, but we've still got the, you know, the incentive of Europe to, to go for, hopefully. Four minutes into the second half, Billy Davis sent in a free kick from the left, which Dougie Arnott headed back across goal. Brian Martin's header dipped underneath the bar and Motherwell deservedly in the lead. Campbell trying to get Lentonat. Goodman winning an ear again. That must be the same, yes! Twardo, the substitute. Really his first effective touch in the game. And with 25 minutes gone, Motherwell at long last, after all their effort, all the possession, all the chances they've had, score a simple but very effective goal. Twaddle taking up appropriate position, but this man Goodman deserves something at the end of so many of the headers he's made like that, angled perfectly by Twaddle. McKinnon to take this one. The referee is making sure everything's in order. Well, one goal he has this season, McKinnon. He starts his run and he drills it right through Pat Bonner. 84 minutes gone. Muller will take the lead. Jubilation among the fans. McKinnon takes the salute. It's Muller 1, Celtic 0. Yeah, I can't really say that they, that they have. Deserved it, although Packy when he sees it again won't be happy with that. He could have got it down maybe. 
maybe he stopped it, but full mass of Rob McKinnon, he hit the back of the net. Hit it as hard as he could. And really, I think there's no goalkeeper that's going to stop that one. Fine winner. And to celebrate, he pulls the sort of Jesus pose that would have got planned. Look at that. The ball plays short to him. Oh, Motherwell playing really with renewed confidence here. A remarkable performance. And Martin equalises for Motherwell. It's a sensational goal for Motherwell. And it's been coming. They've played extremely well. Alec McLeish senses the prospect of taking something to this match. But that was a truly outstanding strike by Brian Martin. It's his first goal of the season. He's the first man since Bartomalek bonds to score from Motherwell since October. And he's done it with real style. Gordon was helpless. 54 minutes of the match gone. And Motherwell's excellent performance capped by this effort from Brian Martin. Oh, what a game we have in our hands now. Waddle's on side, oh, second goal! Well, at first the players looked away across for the linesman, but there was no outside. Now this is a very difficult angle. Slipped to the side there, and he made his mind up to swing it to that far post. Oh, I think we'll give the big fella credit for intending to put the ball exactly where it ended up. You can see he had his eye on the ball as he played it. Well, I think Billy Davis will put that substitution down in his CV and underlined in red. Closely followed by another headed goal, this time from Brian Martin. The Fir Park fans. Boran uh, gives that extra aerial threat to Motherwell. Here's Corrigan again. Collected. It's in the middle. Back of the match. Great piece of play from Corrigan there. Shot. Coming off Bob Malcolm's shoulder. Giving back for us absolutely no chance whatsoever. Was rewarded in the 72nd minute. Kevin Twaddle finding the target. A nice dummy. In contrast, Motherwell are more than adept up front, failing to score only in the recent Old Firm double header. And while Martin Corrigan doesn't often feature in the score sheet, he was well placed to accept the invitation from Jim Hamilton. Lambert leaves it to McKinnon. 